It's nothing fancy, but what you're looking at right now is my airbrush workstation and of course my Cobra Class 4 sewing machine. But I wanted to do a quick little video to demonstrate my um, air compressor that I use for airbrushing. I used to have a little Craftsman three gallon air compressor that burned up because I forgot to oil it. So I got on the internet and searched around and found a little Senko air compressor that I really like. I've been very happy with it. It's very quiet and it does plenty, uh, plenty of cubic feet per minute to power anything that I really need it to use, need it to run. My little finish nailers and whatnot. About to do another batch of holsters right now to start airbrushing them and wanted to try and record a little bit more audio of this compressor. And as you can see, it's uh, inside the cabinet. And my cabinet actually has a hole on the top. I just run my, uh, my hose, my air compressor hose, down behind that and close the doors. Not completely sealed off, but I'll let out some air from my airbrush. Until the compressor kicks on. It'll probably take a while. It was uh, just charged. So, as you can see, it kicked on. You can hear the sound of the air coming out, very quiet. The compressor itself is uh, muffled behind the cabinet. Doesn't take a whole lot to quiet it down. I went ahead and pulled the compressor out so you can get a better look at it. As you can see, it's pretty small, nice and compact, very quiet, includes a pressure gauge, but overall I am very happy with this compressor. It does a great job for what I need it for. And I would highly recommend it if you're in the market for a small, quiet air compressor that will do more than just simply airbrushing, but not necessarily enough to build a house with or anything major like that. It will definitely air up car tires. So that about wraps up my quick look at the Senco model PC-1010. I suggest you take a look at it if you need an air compressor.